Hello everyone and welcome to tutorial 2 in the extend script series and today we're going to be taking the script we created last time and we're basically going to make sure it works okay no matter what happens so we're going to be doing some validation and I'm also going to teach you how to do some basic bug testing so let's refresh at what the script is the script allows you to add a title and cut your video so we can add our title whatever and set our cut points and click start and it does all that for us but one thing you may have or may not have considered is what if they don't put in the correct inputs that is to say what if the title of the video or the title of the video doesn't matter but what if the length of the title isn't a number what if they put in like a bunch of this and same with these and click start and as you can see this script stops at a certain point because it doesn't receive proper input so we're gonna first go over some validation and one thing I would like to point out is when trying to figure out bugs in your code or when you're doing problem solving the way I like to use or the, the workflow I use is to snap both of these to both sides of the screen luckily I have a 1080p monitor and screen resolution so I can do this but if you don't um, find a way <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is say okay what what things in this script could end up not working the title of the video doesn't matter because we're converting that text straight into a, a text layer so that doesn't matter but the length of the video the cut point one and cut point two all need to be numbers. So there's a nice function built into JavaScript called isNon that will allow us to check if these are actually numbers. So if we go into our code, we need to first work on the length of title. As a refresher, title duration is our variable used for length of title. So if we go down and title duration text here is converted and we need to validate whether or not the input first is a number or not and we're gonna do this on the on click function so what we're gonna do is before all of this we're gonna add an if statement tab this a little bit and basically if whatever if it we're gonna just skip the if part for now but if length of title is not a number we want to alert whatever you want to say so like please input a number for the length of title and then in order to stop and not run the script, we just return false. And that will kind of just not pause, but it'll go back to basically here. And let's do the same thing for the cut points. And this will just help a lot. This is something very important to do in scripting. and just copy and paste this okay so now we need to put in the if statements so in order to check if the number is or if the input is a number or not we're going to use the is none function and we're going to first ask the variable for length of title which is title duration. What is non says is return a value of true or false if depending on if the value is a valid number. If if the input so basically what this is saying if the input is not a number is non is going to be true. If it is a number it's going to be false. So
go ahead and put these in. Spell it right. So let's go ahead and test out our script now. If we just try and run it, you can see it says, please input a number for the length of title. Do that. Oh, that's not a number. Then it will do the same thing. That was a silly mistake on my part because I forgot what we actually need to do is put in the text because it's based on what they input, not based on what type of uh, object it is. Because if I don't have text attached to this, title duration is referring to an edit text box. And well, obviously an edit text box is always not going to be a number. So if we run it again, say hey, input title length. Okay. Oh, I need to do the other ones and blah, blah, blah. And you can see it just ran it because we did not put in return false on these. And that's, that's going to do it for the validation of our script, which is good. And now let's do some bug testing. So the basic idea behind bug testing is finding out why your script isn't working. And you might think, wow, it's, it's virtually impossible to figure out what's wrong. And oftentimes in JavaScript, it feels like that. But there's one tried and true kind of method that always has worked. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do, but it's something that will work. And that's using alerts. So basically what the premise is, is you, you put alerts throughout your code, alerting, hey, I've reached this point of the code, and until you don't see the one, if you don't see an alert, then you know you can start narrowing down where the problem is. So I'm just going to start putting alerts just to show you the concept. So the first thing I'm going to do is before anything even runs, the UI is open, I'm going to alert UI open. And then inside the on click for the start button, I'm going to put you've clicked start. And then like down here, before we run the main function, I'll alert prepare to run the function. And then at the end of this I'll put done. And at the beginning of the function, I'll put starting process. And we'll put one more just like in here. Layers duplicated. Alright, so let's go ahead and run this. You can see. UI open, so we know that the UI is now open. Get put in our stuff. And I click start. And you can see that I purposely put in a number that doesn't really work for this. But you can see that each in when each thing is happening it will pause and alert us this message and that's basically how you do it you can start narrowing down okay this is where um, this happens so you can see I just discovered another bug and that's if you input a number that's larger than the comp then you run into some problems so let's fix that I'm not gonna go into bugging more because that's just it's pretty self-explanatory. Just keep alerting until you find the problem. And oftentimes the problem can literally be one letter or one character. All right, so what I want to do is we need to have a variable for the comp length, which is down here already, but... Um, 
yeah, we can move this variable outside because since it's in there, we don't have access to it yet. So min comp duration. Yep, that's good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add and within these. So if the number is input is not a number, or actually we'll do or um, we'll do parse int title duration dot text is greater let's say greater or equal to a uh, comp duration and we'll paste these to here and let's go ahead and test this out so put our title length of title um whatever what's longer like 60 Um, well, you can see it brings up the same alert message for this, but that's because they're in the same thing. So we'll just put uh, put a valid number. And the rerun it. Put in that normal. So, we can get more detailed, and I'll do that really quick. Alright, so I've updated the code here, and I've just added a couple more if statements that if parse int of title duration text cut1 or cut2 is greater than or equal to comp duration, just alert, please input a length between 0 and the comp duration. So, if put it like that, um, it's going to give us a nasty number there. So... For now, we'll just leave it. There is a function or JavaScript method you can use to cut that number down to like two. You know what? I'm going to change it. <laughs> so in order to get the, the one I'm thinking about, we need to do a thing. So I'll make, I don't know, real duration. <laughs> and the thing is called to fixed and then parens and the number of digits you want. So I'll just replace these comp durations for the displays only because I want more accuracy in the other areas. So if we run this, um, it's displaying two decimals. So let's just put that empty. Hold up. Null is not an object. Gotta select that comp, don't forget that. There we go. And now it will have that proper. And now it works. And it's for the most part pretty bug validated. One thing I'd like to say is that in general, when doing bug testing, there's a lot of things that you won't notice until it's too late. Often I've uploaded scripts and then I use them myself and realize there is a bug. Um, that's just part of the process. If you can get friends to test them out as much as they can, it's kind of hard to find bugs in your own work because it's your own work. You, you don't believe that it has problems. So, I mean, yeah. There's one more thing we can do to do validation so we don't get any more bugs. And I'll just type it in for you guys. So what if our cut point one is before our cut point two? Because that could cause some problems. And in fact, it causes some weird problems. So the last thing we can do is clean up some space here. 
after all of these checking if they're numbers and stuff, we just need to do something like if cut to dot text is less than or equal to cut one dot text will alert please input um, please increase cuts increase the cut to uh, number I don't know return false now blah blah oh that, okay whatever that works <laughs> so now if it's like 20 oh, I want that to be 10 oh no please increase I want you to increase um <laughs> yeah when you're doing JavaScript, don't type too fast because that's where half the bugs come from. But that is it for this tutorial, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we'll be doing some more fun JavaScript stuff, and we'll see you then.